So this is yesterday's all over body workout. We started with incline bench, as you just seen. Now a little bit of me of doing a quick flex, getting a pump on. So first exercise, incline dumbbells for your chest. Doing five sets of 15 of this exercise, as you can see, all the way down, but not all the way up. Keep the tension on that chest and you don't fully extend your arms. Next off, we have shoulder press. So you can see, same sort of thing, all the way down, not all the way up. Keep the tension on your shoulders. This is optimal growth, and it stops your shoulders from getting any rest in between your reps. So you can see, fairly defined. You can see all those muscles in my shoulders, arms coming out all starting to pop, very depleted at this stage, so I don't get to eat too much for the start of the week until I get to carb up. So these workouts are super hard. Five sets of 15 on that as well. Straight into back, so we did wide grip lat pull down. As you can see, my back is very defined here. You can see the wings, the rhomboids, see the delts. With this as well, all the way down to your chest, and squeezing those scapulas together at the back. So pulling your elbows back and really squeezing your back together. And then all the way down to touch your chest every time. No massive rocking and leaning forward and backwards. Try and do it as controlled as possible. And also with this, you do not come all the way up. Keep that tension on the back. No rests and all squeeze every time. Next off, we have uh, seated rear dumbbells. So this is for the rear part of your shoulder. As you can see, shoulders are getting worked massively here. So the back, it's called the rear delt. Lean forward, dumbbells straight up, hands like that. A little bit of a um, pec dance for a bit of fun. Got to, got to make these workouts a little bit of fun when I'm so serious, as you can see. No emotion in that face. So this is a rear view of that. You can see the top of my back, my rear is working, squeezing the back together every time. Getting a good squeeze on every rep. The ideal for growth, you've got to tear that muscle. Back into the front view, so you can see arms straight, straight up. See that rear delt working and squeezing every time. Keep for, keep bent forward, so all the pressure's on your rears. Now we're into triceps, so we're doing five sets of 15 again on bar pull downs. You can see the feathers in my triceps coming out, which is uh, which is a good sign. With triceps, always lean forward, keep your elbows tucked into your side and all the way down, all the way up, give them a good stretch and squeeze as you're going down. Squeeze the muscle every time you do an exercise. That really works it hard and makes you tear the muscle, which is what helps you grow. Tear that muscle and it repairs bigger, which is how you put on size. You can see the feathers in my arms there. Fairly veiny, as you can see, all through my arms, across the shoulders. A little bit of a flex there. Chest coming in nicely too. All right, then we went into uh, barbell bicep curls. Yet again, did five sets of 15 in depletion week. You're just doing a lot of reps to get the muscles working. Not too heavy though. So wide grip on the bar here, squeeze biceps every time. You can see my arms are working there, veins popping out. Keep your elbows again tucked in nicely to your side. Pressure always on your biceps. Not all the way down there, you can see my arms still a little bit bent at the bottom, but all the way up and squeezing every time. You can see in the gym, I am very serious. Also, how good is this singlet? Not here to fuck spiders. Probably my favorite singlet. 
With this set, you can see I'm leaning forward a little bit, keeping those elbows tucked in. All the pressure is on your biceps. You cannot rock, you cannot move, you're not using the upper body to help with the curl. It's all in the biceps. Optimal growth, and you can see they're working. Tuck them in, make it hard on yourself. It is worth it. All right, next we went into hammy curls. So again, five sets of 15, you can see Hammy there working very nicely. It's fairly defined. Doing uh, both legs here. So swap over, yet again. Hammy's coming in nicely. You can see it working a little bit under there. You're gonna love this next clip, guys. I did it just for you. Got the pants off. Tucked up the jocks, so you can see a bit of the ass. See more of the hammy working. You can see all the way up into the insertion near the glute. Squeeze every time. Keep the pressure on your hammy. Don't don't allow the pressure to stop, which is going to help with growth again. Thought you guys might like to see a bit of ass in this workout. Didn't get in trouble, so I was fairly lucky with that. So that's hammies. Again, five sets of 15. Then we went on to calves. So you can see here, my calves are very, very lean. I've got veins in the front of my calves, across my shins. You can also see the feathers through my legs, which is amazing. That is really good conditioning. I'm happy where I'm at at the moment. You can see the VMO, which is like the chicken fillet, which is on the inside of your leg, and then your quad sweep on the outside. So a little bit of def definition through the top of my quads as well. It's all coming in nicely. So again, five sets of 15 on the calf raises. Squeezing every time, squeezing at the bottom and the top. Really work that calf. Nice close feet placement. And this is the last set, a little bit of close-up of my legs. You can see they're fairly dry. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. I'll be doing today's workout as well. So I'll 